share with you how I have decorated these open shelves for practicality, function, and beauty. Open shelving can be a tricky area in a kitchen to decorate and to make useful. And being in this small space that I am, this is our fixer upper that's gonna be an Airbnb. I needed practicality and beauty all encompassed into one on these two open shelves. We have no upper cabinets, and so this is gonna be a lot of our storage for the dishes, as you can see, and other functional pieces. So I'm gonna share with you how I have styled and decorated these shelves. So first off, I gather all my pieces that I need to have up there and then I think that I will use. So all our dishes, um, dishcloths, some glasses, a few storage pieces that will hold like tea bags and coffee, a few decorative pieces, some mugs, um, some bowls, and then adding a touch of plant life because I love plants and why not add that to an open shelving where there's beauty. So let's get putting things up here. that the light is rather in front of the top shelf in one section and that is just where we ended up putting the shelf was right behind the light because that's the best space for it as the ceiling is only a little over six foot tall and so um, it's just something we have to work around and I still think it's rather cute to have the light there it's um, kind of a beautiful cute light anyway so it kind of looks like part of the shelving to me anyways done my shelves up starting on the bottom shelf I used the large plates with a serving bowl on top of that I think adding layers to open shelves is a great way to go especially if you need space saving and it also adds that layered element and then with my salad plates and the dessert plates or saucers next to those with a layered element I just think that was a nice touch a wood cutting board adds a different element of texture, different color with the coffee mugs in front of those. Having wood on open shelves is so cute, adds a different element, especially when I have all these white, by the way, rummage sale dishes and different um, texture. I keep going back to that word texture. And dish cloths on an open shelving that especially right by the sink here is easy access. This is going to be an Airbnb, so it will be helpful for the people there to just have the dish cloths right there and they can access those easily. And I got those just off of Amazon. We wanted new dish cloths, dish towels, things like that. And then having the salt and pepper shakers next to a plant. Of course, I have to have plants because I love green and life. And so these are easy care plants as well. And the blue, I had this actually at my house. So I just brought it to our fixture upper here. The blue pot incorporates the blue that is on the top shelf. So when you decorate with color and you have a lot of neutral, having like a zigzag pattern or just opposites is a good way to go because then it's not just on top of each other and then the rest is white or neutral. You have your eye kind of gathering the whole two shelves all encompassed together. And then I just put things on the top that will not be accessed as much. So 
like the um, two canisters will be more for holding things like teas or coffee pods. Um, those will be excess quite a bit actually, but just something in there or they may be empty and just as a decor piece. The cups, of course, will probably be accessed quite often. However, I needed some more height up on top as well, so I incorporated that there. And the white canisters could be flip-flopped with the cups. This is all up to you how you want to decorate your shelf with varying heights, um, what you want next to each other. And so I wanted to give it just a little bit more of a um, height change there. And then the bowls, as you saw, they are very large and kind of shallow. They won't be used very often, I don't think, anyway. So that's why I put them up on the top shelf along with that wood rolling pin. Now, I don't think the rolling pin will be used very often either in an Airbnb. It's more for an aesthetics look. And I couldn't pass up using my thrifted rolling pin next to the creamer and sugar container on the end. Um, those won't be used really at all, it's more decor. So it was just a really fun way to decorate with these open shelves here and things, like I said, that are practical and beautiful. They will be used often, quite often. So I know I needed it to be a place that people could see what they need to get and that looked, um, looked beautiful and functional at the same time. So hopefully this helps you if you're wanting to decorate some open shelves in your kitchen or you were just unsure how to put items onto your open shelves. And I will be coming at you with another video at the end of the week. So talk with you in the next one.